Pudis. Anyway, hey guys, this is the gaming seed with Pokemon Black Part 34. In this part, I'm gonna start with Embor. Yay! And also in this part, we will be hopefully getting through the rest of Route 7 up to Twist Mountain. Balancing is fun. Funny fun fun. Um, Harlequin Ian. Tynamo. Hmm, Tynamo is an interesting Pokemon. It's electric type. With the levitate ability, meaning it has no weaknesses. Another interesting thing about it is that it has no moves in its move pool. It goes with the four moves that it starts with at level one from an egg. Tackle, Spark, Charge Beam, and Thunder Wave. And, um, it doesn't get any new moves until level 39, if you evolve it at level 39, because it'll get Crunch. Uh, so yeah, just Leaf Blade, I guess. Ducklet, the pre-evolution of Swanna, which was Skyla's main Pokemon. Tranquil, huh. You know, I've noticed these Harlequin guys use a lot of flying types. More so than the bug types they used in Berg's gym. Okay, so let's just ice beam it. Okay. Player defeated Harlequin Ian. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna have to go around, aren't I? Yep. If you wanna jump off a cliff, there you can. Um, here we are in the Twist Mountain. Um, I'm going to use an elixir on Vanillish to make it so. Um, Actually, I'm going to start with Vanillish because I think he starts with an Unfazent, which is normal flying, so yeah, Vanillish will be good for that. I think there's a hidden item over here. Wrong button. There. Oh, there it is. Ultra Ball. And now let's head up the stairs. But wait. Great, it's Sharon. And we have to fight him. Yay. Not. Anyway. Yeah. Sure. I was right. He did start with a pheasant. I think this thing just does taunt, detect, roost, and air sl slash. So it's not a big deal. Okay. Just air slashing. Whoa. Critical. Wow, the hax is starting already. Crit and flinch on me. And another critical hit, not that it mattered. Wow. So much hacks and it's only the beginning of the battle. Uh I'm gonna go straight for the heat crash here, I guess. Hoping that I can live in air slash. Oh, two HP. Honestly, Sharon. Well, actually, I think this thing does have a super luck scope lens combo, but geez, three crits in a row? You think that's enough? Okay, good, I killed the thing. On to Duot. Duot is his starter. If he has Pig Knight, it's gonna be level 35, firefighting type, the moves arm thrust, takedown, rollout, and heat crash. Here he has Dua, I believe this is going to have Aqua Jet, Water Pulse, Revenge, and Encore. And if he has Servine, it is probably, I think it's going to know Leaf Blade, Leaf Tornado, Mega Drain, and Coil. Okay, down it goes. On to Simiseer. Simiseer. Uh, I don't have much good against Fire, do I? Nope. Whatever, go to Sigilyph, I guess. Oh, 
Okay, side beam it. Okay, just one for the flame burst. Okay, blah 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 blah. Sima Sage is gonna know Lyrilic Fury Swipes Seed Bomb. Sima Seer knows Lyrilic Fury Swipes and Flame Burst. And Sima Poor is gonna know Lyrilic Fury Swipes Scald. So down it goes. And Ciclo is gonna grow to level 36. Um, Light Pard is last up. Dark type. Level 33. Holding a Citrus Berry. Um. I think it has like Night Slash, Hone Claws, Assurance, and Fake Out. So I'm just gonna go with the X Scissor here. I knew that was gonna happen. Again, just go for the X Scissor. Ooh, Hone Claws, I'm so scared. You're gonna die anyway. Yeah, so down goes Sharon for what is it, the fourth or fifth time? Whatever. Let's just. Go ahead, gain our experience, almost get to level 37, but not quite, and get to Twist Mountain. But wait again, it's Alder, that guy we met on Route 5 by Nimbasa City, he's here. And he says he's weak and he lost, he finally admits it, Arrival finally admits that he's weak. Hmm, reminds me of him of Marshall apparently. Who is this Marshall? We'll be finding out later. Anyway, he's gonna give you the Surf HM, and now... Surf in this walkthrough especially is very important. Without the Surf HM, I would've gone through the game with just these four Pokemon. I'm not kidding. The other two Pokemon on my team... ...are going to be caught by using Surf. Who would have thought? I would. Um, yeah, it's probably fairly obvious who those two are. I'm just gonna go over and heal up really quick at the Pokemon Center. Um, just heal up. gonna use the PC and I'm going to oh wait no not withdraw deposit uh, I'm going to deposit semi sage yeah I actually did evolve pan sage off screen but I'm obviously not using it but else it would probably be like level 37 like half my other team is well more than half but anyway the first of these two that I will be catching can be found um they can actually be found in an area that we haven't been to since part one or actually part two Nuvema Town who would have freaking thought now with the HM for surf Excuse me, you dumb level 2 wild Pokemon. Or like 3 or 4, I don't care. 4. I could go ultimate overkill on this thing, but I'm not going to. Um, Vanilla is actually not the Pokemon I want to start with for catching this Pokemon. That Pokemon is actually Sigilith, because it's probably the weakest on my team. Um... I'm just gonna spray a repel so I don't run into any wild Pokemon along the way. Alright, so. Oh, right. <laughs> I forgot to teach Kurtoga Surf. Haha. <laughs> yeah, it's not funny. Surf. Surf is a very good attacking move to have. And Kurtoga, I just got as a Surf Slave. I'm gonna get rid of wide guard, not that it matters. Cause I'm just, again, like I just said, I'm using him as a surf slave. 
The water is deep blue. Would you like to use surf? Indeed, I would like to use surf. And now you can explore this area. There are a few trainers here. Oh, here's the first time we can do this. Surfing spots. You go into them. They're like the shaking grass in the d in what in in like a route and dust clouds and caves. They will open up a special battle. I think on this route, I'm thinking in this part of the air area, it's just basculin. So yeah. Right now, I'm not gonna fight any of the trainers over here until I catch those my two other two team members. And the bulletin board is broken for whatever reason. Over here on Route 17 and 18 is the Pokemon that I want to catch. I just have to wait for my rappel to wear off. Okay, here it is. And wow, it's low leveled. A frillish. Hold on a second. So frillish. Oh, and, um, I'm kind of like the channel director while he's doing the walkthrough right now. Yeah. Sorry, I'll be doing, we'll be doing more walkthroughs. My friend does the stuff with the channel while I record all the videos and upload them. Yeah, well, not all of them, because... Well, not all of them, I was also on the Eagle Jigglypuff, but it's a co-channel, so... Anyway, um, I'm going to be working a lot more in the next few walkthroughs we're going to be doing. Uh, one on the list is Complete Saga. Um, yeah. honestly, how am I going to catch this? Cause I'm afraid a surf is gonna. Oh wait, no water absorb. Yeah, I you, forgot. You just realized. Yeah. How? I think it might be good to just chuck an ultra ball now. Wait, is it is it ghost right now? Yeah, it's ghost now. Okay, use the um. What move did you have there? Oh wait, was that crunch? Yeah, that was crunch, and yeah, crunch would have killed it. Yeah, I have not been keeping up with the walk since. I think it was when we got out of Pinwheel Forest. Ah! Oh. Three shakes. Yeah, whatever. I'm just gonna have to use Ultra Balls on it and at yeah, full and, health. Yeah, uh, this is a way to expand our channel. I know we're called the Gaming Seed, but we might actually be doing a few Lego reviews because I just got a few free sets. Yeah, um... It's something new, and um, if you are watching this, just give us some feedback. I mean, if you don't like us doing them, then whatever, just don't watch them, but... Okay, I think it'll help us get our... Get more viewers and subscribers, and appeal to a larger audience, instead of just... Frillish, the floating Pokemon, water and ghost, with its thin veil-like arms wrapped around the body of its opponent, it sinks to the ocean floor. So needed to read that. Give a nickname, yeah, just like all the others. Okay, my friend left. Uh, we're trying to think of a name for our frillish, and I just came up with something that a lot of people use in their Wi-Fi battle, male jealousins. And let's face it, male jealousin is Pringle Man. Yeah, whatever. I don't care what you say. Um, water and ghost type, pretty good. Um. Water Sport, Absorb, Bubble Beam, and Nightshade. Um. Wait, let me check his stats one last time. Um. 41 HP, 19 attack, 23 defense, 27 special attack, 30 special defense, 17 speed. Uh, I gotta say, pretty good nature. I will have a hard time raising it because it's only level 14. But I guess with that, I'll end the part off, okay? Next time, we're going to be catching the sixth team member and maybe going through a part of Route 17 and 18. See you guys in the next part.